Hello everyone, I am Roseto Durkista and this is Introduction to Computing. So today we will talk about algorithm. Okay. So in mathematics or in computer science an algorithm is uh, a finite sequence of well-defined computer implementable instructions uh, typically to solve the problems or to perform a computation the algorithms are always unambiguous and are used as specifications for performing calculations data processing uh, automated reasoning and other tasks and uh, by the way the word uh, or the uh, word algorithm is uh, derived from uh, the, the algorithm word itself is derived from the 9th century mathematician so the name of that mathematician is uh, Muhammad okay so the name of the mathematician of the 9th century which the algorithm word is derived is Muhammad Ibn uh, Musa Al-Khwarizmi okay so the word algorithm is derived from the 9th century uh, mathematician Muhammad Ibn Musa Al-Khwarizmi and it is Latinized to word algorithmi okay so algorithmi and that word algorithm becomes the word or uh, the word algorithmi of Latin becomes the word algorithm and this uh, algorithm we divide this into three parts so that we could uh, dissect what is the content of algorithm or what is the algorithm itself so as for the definition uh, as i have uh, said earlier it is uh, an ambiguous and, and are used as specifications for performing calculations data processing uh, automated reasoning and other tasks so in the in mathematics and computer science uh, is a finite sequence of well defined computer implementable instructions so well defined computer implementable instruction that is algorithm uh, it much like of uh, a process like we have step one step two step three four so on and so forth up to the last step so that we could propose uh, produce an output so it's the step-by-step -step process that we need to follow so that is the algorithm but before we could create that algorithm that perfect alg algorithm the step-by-step -step process we need to learn how to extract uh, vital information from a given problem so in that case we will study first the IPO analysis okay so this is the first the IP analysis and then the second one is the flowchart so after we this discover what are the inputs the possible process and the output or the IPO of that given problem we will then create the process in the form of flowchart so step by step process and then from that process we will generate our pseudo code okay so the pseudo code is um, a language a written language using english and a bit of uh, mathematical equations mathematical figures that is uh, much 
a pretty look the same with the actual programming language with which we will be using to instruct the computer to accept input follow our instructions as the process and produces those outputs that uh, the user needs so yeah. but first now uh, we will be studying or we will understand what is ipu analysis so today i am going to discuss what is ipu analysis how to do an ipu analysis so let's take an example so let's go to the point let's get to the point already so for example a man has given you a problem has given you a, a complete paragraph of a problem or a sentence or a scenario or a certain scenario so let's uh, uh, use the term scenario okay so how about if uh, a man or a certain individual give you a scenario which uh, states like um, see for example mr john wants to know who is the taller among his two sons so that is the the scenario so it's just that mr john wants to know who is the taller among his two sons so mr john has two sons and he does not know who is the tallest who is the shortest among these two sons of his uh, so in this case we will determine now what is the input what is the process or possible process and what could be the output so so according to the scenario the possible input would be hmm, two sons and what else since we are mr john is trying to solve the problem about who is the taller the tallest among the two so probably the input is their height height of the two sons so let's accept two inputs why two it is because mr john has two sons so two heights we need two heights height of the first brother height of the second brother or the first son and the second son and then as per the scenario mr john wants to know so he wants to know who is the taller who is the taller so in this case the process should be to compare the given two heights okay so we have to compare so that we will know who is the taller is it the first son or is it the second son and then what would be the output according to the scenario the thing that uh, mr john wants to know is who is who among the two sons is the taller so we could just write taller so that is your ipo analysis or the input process the output another example no wait so let's say for example if the during the implementation of this uh, ip analysis in in an actual uh, software or in an actual uh, system actual program say for example if we have replaced the two inputs height as a and b thus a is equal to 50 cm 
and then b is equal to 60 cm so this a and b will be compared during the process so during the process we'll write like a greater than b or b greater than a but we'll implement the f f statement if a is greater than b if b is greater than a so other way so with this if a is greater than b or if b is greater than a we will uh, surely come up an answer of who is the tallest or taller among these two sons of mr john another example scenario okay so for example maria wants to know how many seeds she could plant in an or in a 10 by 10 sqm lot if she planted the seeds with one meter uh, distance between them okay so maria wants to know how many seeds she could plant in a 10 by 10 sqm lot if she planted the seeds with one meter distance between them so for our input so what would be the input from this scenario it would be the 10 by 10 sqm or equivalent to 100 sqm so how does we come up with 100 sqm just simply 10 multiplied by 10 so 0 and 0 uh, 0 and 1 uh, yeah no so how does we how did we come up with 100 sqm simply just multiply the 10 by, by uh, 10 by 10 sqm so in this case we have two zeros one times one was one or we could write like zero times zero equals zero zero times one equals zero one times zero equals zero one times one equals one so we have zero zero one to the process so since uh, Mary wants to have them in at least one meter in distance between those seeds so we shall divide hmm? we shall divide 100 by 1 or 100 by 0.5 so say for example if this is 1 sqm
So 1 SQM distance between them. So we already have 100 SQM and on the process the, the condition of Mary is that she wanted to plant those seeds with one SQM distance so in this case we'll just need to divide one SQM so divide 100 SQM by 1 SQM so that we will know how many seeds Mary would be able to plant in a 10 by 10 SQM lot so in the output if we divide 100 by 1 which is 1 1 0 0 0 0 okay, 0 around 0 so Mary could plant seeds on a 10 by 10 SQM with one uh, at least uh, one SQM is the distance so she could plant 100 seeds so this is QM this is SQM so 100 SQM divided by 1 SQM is equivalent to 100 seeds So that is your output. So again, the input is 10 by 10 SQM or 100 SQM. Your process is to divide 100 SQM by 1 SQM because 1 SQM is the prerequisite or the condition that given by Maria because she wants to plant those seeds in a 10 by 10 SQM or 100 SQM with 1 SQM distance between them in that case we can have or she can have 100 seeds for a 100 square meter so that is how the IPO analysis work how we will extract the input How will you extract the process? So in this case, it was not being stated in the scenario. What would be the process? So we derive this process according to what is given, according to what we understand with the what with what we read from the scenario or the given scenario that Maria wants to know how many seeds. Uh, how many seeds wants to know how many seeds she could plant in a 10 by 10 SQM so that is the uh, another uh, supplementary condition is that the seeds should be one C SQM distance between them so with that uh, statement we derive the process that we have to divide the 100 SQM by 1 SQM and then by doing that we will be or we should be or the program will create or the application that will create that will that will uh, compute this type of scenario should produce an output of 100 seeds okay so again IPO analysis is how you extract the given input the possible process So again, IP analysis is how you extract the 
possible input or given input from the scenario or given problem so how to determine what are the inputs or what are given and what would be the possible processes that the computing device computing machine would uh, do in order for it to produce the output so you, with ipo analysis you are going to extract the input from the scenario or the problem determine the process of that problem so that uh, say for example the process is the formula or the solution so that it will uh, generate or create a specific output like this one where the the scenario is maria wants to know how many seed she could plant in a 10 by 10 sqm lot and if uh, if she planted the seeds with one sqm distance between them so we determine that the input is 10 by 10 sqm or 100 sqm square meter and then uh, the process would be to divide the 100 sqm by 1 sqm uh, because 1 sqm is the uh, condition given by maria and then by doing that process we will have an output of 100 cents so that is all once again thank you and please subscribe to this channel mabuhay